Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Uh, we got a fun one today. What I'm going to do is uh, compare a fake Gibson Les Paul Custom with a real Gibson Les Paul Custom. They're both black. Uh, they're both the same model. Uh, so let's just see. I haven't even inspected these guitars. They're on loan. Uh, so I'm going to go through it uh, with you here. Uh, so everything that I notice, uh, I'll be noticing right along with you. So let's check this out. Here's the first one. And this is the headstock. Let's uh, segue. Let's say, is this the real one? Okay, yeah, this is the real one. So let's just do a quick segue and see what changes. To the fake. Okay, here's the fake. Did you notice any changes? I noticed a few things. The truss rod looks kind of cheesy. Notice the, the writing. It almost looks like sprayed on silver and kind of cheap. And the truss rod cover looks a little short to me. So let's segue to the real one now. To the Gibson! Okay, so there's the real one. And we can see the, the writing on the truss rod cover is actually engraved. And it looks nice and sharp and crisp. And the uh, split diamond is larger. Let's segue back to the fake. Cha -cha! Okay, so there's the fake. And I noticed <clears throat> this looks too small and it's a little off to the left, which it is not on the Gibson. The Gibson is nicely centered. Now the logo, this is a pretty good fake. I'm not sure I would be able to pick that out as a bad logo. Um, it does look like a U instead of an O, but I wouldn't have tweaked to that right away. I see it does have the dot over the I. The binding looks good on this guitar. I guess it looks about the same as the real one. So let's segue to the real logo now. This is the fake. Here comes the Gibson. Okay, and on the Gibson we can see the letter O is completely a circle, not a U. Uh, on the back of the headstock we have a serial number and the Made in USA is stamped into the back of the headstock. And this has uh, shaler style tuners, but depending on the model, you're looking at the, the model year that has changed over the years. Uh, but just for our comparison here, that's the back of the real Gibson. Let's segue to the fake. Okay, here's the fake back and it is sort of stamped in there. Actually, it looks, they do a bit better job of stamping it in than the real Gibson. And same with the serial number, it's stamped a little deep but it looks nice and sharp, so I'm not sure. If I didn't know, that probably would have fooled me. And this has what appear to be Grover tuners. I'm not sure if they're fake or real. I'm not sure if it's worth faking something like that. But there it is. Now the binding, let's see, on the neck here. See where the headstock comes in. This looks kind of thick to me, but I'm not sure. Let's segue and see. And while we're here, I'll just mention this one does not have uh, fret end binding so the plastic does not cover the end of the metal. Let's segue to the real one. Okay, here's the real one. Uh, yeah, you see the plastic here. The binding looks thinner, a little more delicate, and the uh, the plastic covers the end of the frets. So that's a telltale sign. I have heard of fakes that have this, but for this comparison, that's a difference. Now we're still with the real one here. And we notice it has a nice ebony fingerboard with uh, fake mother of pearl inlays. Let's segue to the fake. Here's the fake. And that looks more like stained rosewood to me, darkened a bit, or just straight up rosewood. And the inlays look very similar, fake mother of pearl. So let's work our way down to the heel joint of the neck. It's so obviously this one is a set neck and it looks pretty good. I'm not sure if there's a difference. Let's uh, segue to the real Gibson. There we go. And they look very similar, very similar. There's the binding on the back, looks really sharp. Let's segue to the fake. There's the fake. It looks pretty good too, in that area, not too bad. I will mention, <coughs> just in swapping these guitars around, the fake one feels, about two pounds lighter in this example. Now the 
back control cavity, black plastic, but they fit nicely. Looks fairly good quality. Let's segue to the Gibson. And there's the real Gibson. Now I noticed the plastic is inset slightly on this one, whereas it was not on the Chibson or the fake Gibson. But the finished quality looks somewhat similar. Let's take a look at the knobs here. These knobs look great, nice crisp numbers. These are called speed knobs. And let's segue to the fake. And there's the fake, and these knobs look the same. Nice and crisp numbers. I would not tweak to that if I only looked at the knobs. Now let's take a look at the hardware while we're here. I notice there's a screw slot head to adjust the bridge height, and that would not be on the real Gibson, but let's take a look. Um, while we're here, I'll just look at this stuff. The, the uh, pickups kind of look like the real deal to me. So I'm not sure that that would, fool, or that would uh, trigger my alarm. But let's take a look at this for now. We have a slot head on the uh, bridge. Let's check the Gibson. Okay, there's the Gibson, and there's no slot head on there. Different style bridge. Uh, so this is a Gibson style, whereas the other one is more what you'd see on an Epiphone. Not sure why that is different, but uh, definitely different on the fake. So that's another telltale sign, usually. Let's check out the switch. Nice and solid, very little play. To the fake! And here's the fake. Actually feels pretty good. Not bad. So that would not be a giveaway for me. Now on the fake, here's the position markers. You can see that. They look a little random. They're not, you know, this one's closer to the black. And these are further away. Not straight, those two. Let's check the Gibson. Okay, so here's the Gibson. And they look pretty similar, actually. Not sure that would uh, be a flag for me because they're very similar. So I guess that's it for a visual inspection without taking the guitar apart. Uh, this one is the real Gibson that I'm holding. I had to check for a minute there. Uh, in summary, uh, I, I don't want to comment on the ethics of the whole thing, uh, but the, uh, <coughs> well, I didn't even get into the action and everything. I haven't tried these yet, but let's just assume if it did play pretty well because it's not a dead giveaway as soon as you see it. When I picked up the guitar, I had to kind of keep looking to make sure I was... Uh, which one was the real Gibson. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna talk about the ethics. Uh, I don't like fakes. It, it really shouldn't say Gibson on the headstock is my opinion. I think if they're gonna make the guitar, why not just make it and call it a XYZ guitar and maybe market it as so. But anyway, interesting how uh, similar they were and uh, some obvious differences, but they feel fairly close. So let's see how they sound because uh, I did notice the action on the fake uh, does not look as great. And looking up the neck, uh, there's a little funkiness going on, which is not going on on the real Gibson. Let's give them a listen. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>